In this problem, it says that an equilateral triangle has an altitude of 4.3 inches, and we want to find the length of the sides. So I'll draw my equilateral triangle. Now remember, with an equilateral triangle, each angle is 60 degrees. And the altitude of a triangle is the height. And that height is perpendicular to the base. So now I really want to look at this 30, 60, 90 triangle that we've created. I'll draw it again over here. So this is 60 degrees, but we know that this angle is 30 degrees. I'll draw that out to this side. There's not enough space in there. And let's see, we know that the altitude is 4.3 degrees. So we want to find the length of the sides, and here's one side. That's our hypotenuse of this triangle, but it's the same length as all three sides on the equilateral triangle. So we just need to solve for S, and I can do that by saying that the sine of 60 degrees is equal to 4.3 over S. So sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse, and that's 4.3 over S. Now sine of 60 degrees, we know the sine of 60 degrees. We know that that's equal to the square root of 3 over 2. We have the exact value for that because that's from our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So whenever you have a value like that that you don't need the calculator for, you shouldn't use the calculator to find it. You should just go with square root of 3 over 2. And then this is equal to 4.3 over s, so I can cross multiply and get s times the square root of 3 equals 8.6, and that means that s is equal to 8.6 over the square root of 3, and finally I'll rationalize that denominator, and I have 8.6 square root of 3 over 3. And that's my final answer, and it's the exact answer.